Michelle Jones, and I'm the producer. I'm Celia Hubbard, and I'm the coordinating producer. My name is Cody Broder, and I was the writer. I am David Valbuena, and I am the casting director and editor. My name's Colette Johnson, and I was the business manager. My name's Chandler Lin, I'm the director of the project. is Boston University's student-run, client-driven production company. The Hot House assignment was to create a video for the client, The Note Project, about human trafficking in modern society. The illegal slave industry is a $32 billion slave industry. It's it's a huge market. On a daily basis, we as consumers will buy products that contribute to the slave trade and the slave problem. Well, slaves are involved from the very start of making most of the products that we use today, like cell phones or when it comes to uh, a lot of the foods we eat. They farm it. They mine it. The idea of a slavery footprint originally came from a website called theslaveryfootprint.org. And on this website, you go through a series of survey questions that ask, do you own an iPad? Do you wear leather boots? Do you buy coffee? And at the end, it shows you how many slaves you actually own based on the things that you buy. It's something that we didn't know about until we were given this assignment. And it's just the idea that the simple day-to-day -day things that you do have a huge impact and a human impact behind them. What we're trying to do is spread awareness of modern day slavery. And one thing that we have to keep in mind is that we can't use words because this is an international um, PSA. There were a lot of challenges in writing a script without dialogue. Primarily the fact that I couldn't use dialogue. <laughs> Sorry, let me. <laughs> writing a script without dialogue, I had to find a way to convey the exact message we want just through images. Yeah, you, see like this. A, yeah. you could well, literally like have a rope attached right. to the product, like a little product. And it's tied around the literally rope. Attached. Right. Where we were surprised and shocked about the slaves behind all these day-to-day -day actions and thought we should show the simple actions such as buying a cup of coffee and you walk out and you literally just bought three slaves. And we chose to show that to our viewer um, through the rope. We thought the ropes spoke for themselves and that we wouldn't have to explain it as much and it would have been something that was a little uh, metaphoric of the whole situation of the bondage of you know keeping people enslaved and the ropes were a good symbol of that. It a lot. makes you feel like like shame. You got we got used to the rope pretty quick uh, but we had to cut it all up, untie it, retie it, knot it, get it around a USB port to plug into a computer, all sorts of nifty things with the rope. The message of this video is spreading awareness of the situation, of the human trafficking issues that we deal with every day unknowingly. as close as you're going to get to a real life job before you actually make it there. It's basically everything like a real production company. There's more meat to the, um, you know, to the sex trafficking part of it, but I, I totally understand what you're saying and we'll switch that right away. Yeah, totally. Got it. Okay. We have a professional costume designer, a professional makeup artist, two makeup artists actually. We have a sound designer. We are using a $20,000 camera. We're using these fantastic lenses. We have all this equipment. We were driving all the equipment back yesterday. We were thinking, we really have like a car of $50,000 of equipment right now.
So it's like I have an actual job. I'm basically thinking about this 24-7. I do learn things from my professors, but you don't really learn until you put things into action. There's the added pressure of doing it for someone else who's paying for it. So, you know, it's not a project where you can get a C on. You know, you really want to try your best. We come to class every time to discuss what we're doing, but most of the work itself involves production and being on set and developing and writing and outlining and working with a client who has nothing to do with this school except for this project. That's very rare in a university and it's really exciting to be a part of. Cut! And that's a wrap! Uh -oh.